Where to? All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code 3. He's like a billion shots in there and stop that son of a bitch, Cole. Uh. Okay. All units, oh, officers down at 1384 North Bronson. Ambulance is in route. Repeating all units. Officers still need help on Bronson. Approach with extreme caution. Okay. How does he see me? You're clear, go! LAPD, drop the gun now! Shoot your head off. A lot of good you did. Who are you? Okay. Phone number and restaurant table. Well, he's not a very good sniper if he's using a BAR. It's one of the BARs. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? That's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Uh, 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 uh. Sniper's pocketbook. Okay. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. You're all terrible liars. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? 
How the fuck do I know? How the fuck do you know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Uh, uh, uh. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool sure. customer. <laughs> He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Oh, make a telephone call. That's on a cell phone. Whoa. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. So as I was saying a ways back about Phelps having an ego and then getting knocked off his horse, it's actually pretty neat playing as this character. You know, in, uh, in most video games, um, your protagonist is pretty straightforward. And the game does give them flaws. They're usually uh, perfect flaws. Like he's unsure of himself or like he has some past family, family tragedy. Which is usually manufactured bullshit because, you know, it's all out of the protagonist's hands. It's something that's forced onto him. Whereas with Phelps, You're behind the wheel. Um, we know where we're he thought going? highly of himself and wanted glory in an inhuman situation. And... It was his decision to be an asshole and to be a coward. And now you're playing as him, as a protagonist, and it's almost like a redemption well arc. The owner. Like a uh, like well character enough. change. He was in my unit. What any That's good story, you know, you survive the war, needs. Then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. So, how have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. a pretty big deal because if you've been uh, if you watched other parts from the beginning you'll know that Kelso was with Phelps in officers training and they did not like each other because Phelps wanted to be fucking um I thought I had another. Oh, it was this one I'm looking at. Okay. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. 
Uh-oh. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. We fucking showed you, Earl. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Well, I'm steady. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Ooh, that was like the first time where they showed they cut away to Phelps and then they cut away they cut back to the suspect and he's telling the truth. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. 60 rounds. That's three clips. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Holy shit. Uh-oh. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? 